how, how is the hotel industry coping with this difficult time right now? Even before COVID-19 was announced as a pandemic, the Merit Group had SOPs in place and all hosts, that's what we call ourselves at the St. Regis, were made known of. So when step by step, day by day, clear instructions were given on what should be done in um, public areas, what should be done in rooms, what should be done with um, staff. So all of that was very, very clearly laid out and placed in action. Um, for my hotel right now, we are actually closed until the 31st of May and resuming on the 1st. So right now we're working at home probably about three or four days a week. And then we're getting emails and calls and everything. So there's no guests at all, zero. There's no oh, guests at all. You're not allowed to operate. We don't, we don't open it because number one, it's, um, we have, you know, we discuss with our owners and we think that this would be the best decision that the company has decided to take. And the hotel industry in Japan, right now, honestly speaking, it's not just Japan, it's actually the whole world. Um, we are not, I mean, it, the whole travel industry is right now is just not really coping well. We are looking at a lot of, um, as you know, there's some bankruptcies and all, but as a large group, um, the Marriott sees through a lot of hotels to make sure that we actually open up and, you know, like, the theme that we have right now, you know, we will travel again. Mm. So it will, it will, it will start. Everything's easing up right now. We are still in lockdown, but out of the forty-seven prefectures in Japan, thirty-six has already been released of lockdown, and most probably by the next of by the end of next week or so, we should have something else that's opening up, and you know, we should have more places that actually release on lockdown. Business will not come back as soon as we think it is, but the first wave should be around October. Of business? That we would see a huge wave coming back because um, the first of October is actually a long hol it's the start of a long holiday in China. Right. So that's where we start, where we would expect more travelers traveling all around the world. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Jason, I'm not sure if you've seen the video that I sent you on, on how I explain to the people why it is important, you know, to to still be thinking about a career in the hospitality industry, where right, you, this is the hardest hit industry uh, in the whole world right now. Uh, and, and my thought is, you know, it doesn't matter because in two years, in, in four years' time, when you graduate or if you're interested in the hotel industry, hotels are here to stay. It's part of our lifestyle, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. It would, um, it would always be, it would always be here to stay. And you can always, you know, look forward to actually working in a hotel because it's something that you just learn a lot from. There's so many departments that you can want to work in and it's just, really really and in a very very interesting i mean it will never really click when you're actually staying in brunei because we don't have much hotels in brunei but when if you were to actually go on and try try to pursue a career in hotel i would really recommend it and a good place to start would actually be be in Singapore or maybe in Japan. Hey Jason.